We have Morgan Donovan here who is with Embrace Families. And Morgan, thank you for being with us. Thank you for having me. So tell us about Embrace Families, what it does, who it serves. Yes, Embrace Families is the lead child welfare agency serving Orange, Osceola, and Seminole counties. And what that means is we are the go-to provider for all things related to foster care, adoption. We help our youth in foster care transition successfully to adulthood by wrapping them with services related to housing, education, employment, transportation, mentoring, anything we can do to help them be successful. And then we also do a lot of prevention work to keep our kids safe at home with their families. So we do that through programs like Pathways to Home, which addresses homelessness, and through our Breakthrough Program, which, which addresses youth mental health. So how do people engage with Embrace Families? Are they from other agencies that get referred in or do they just walk in? So what happens is a call is placed to the abuse hotline, 1-800-96-ABUSE. Anybody can call in the state. Whenever you see something that gets you a little bit freaked out, maybe has some concerns. Um, and then from there, an investigator is sent out to see what's going on with that child and what's happening within that family. Most of the time, Nothing really happens from that. We might wrap them with some services in home, keep those kids safe, keep that family growing stronger. Some of the time we have to remove the child due to safety concerns. And so that's when they would enter either going to live with a relative through kinship care or going into foster care to live with one of our approved foster families. Are there any uh, activities or events that you have to engage the community to, so that people know that Embrace Families is there? Yes, we do a lot throughout the year. Um, in April, we do what's called our Manicure Movement Campaign. That's part of um, April's National Child Abuse Prevention Month. And so that's our own little spin on it, where we ask everybody to paint one nail blue to spark a conversation about child abuse prevention efforts here locally. Um, in May, we have our signature event. It's called Dance Dream Inspire. It's like a Dancing with the Stars kind of themed event. Um, where we really want to highlight um, local leaders in the community who are making a difference and advocating for our kids and our families and their needs. Um, and then we also do um, just a lot of fun. It's just entertaining, right? We have a magician, we have the dancing, it's a lot of fun. In October, we have our For Our Kids Golf Tournament, which is really more of like a golf party. It's a lot of fun. Um, and then finally, through the holidays, we have our Holiday Magic Campaign, where we um, provide all of our families with Thanksgiving food baskets and all of our children with toys. I want to talk about one of the things that you mentioned early on, and that is transitioning kids out of the foster care system, because I know that that's a big deal, and that doesn't happen everywhere. Tell me about that process and how that, that works for uh, someone who ages out of the system. Yes, so at 18, our kids' lives change overnight. So when they're in foster care, before they turn 18, we are just there to provide every service possible for them. When they turn 18, all of a sudden they have to qualify for our services. We do have supports available up through 23 years old, and really a lot of the relationships, the relationships that we build with our kids will last into their 30s. Um, but from 18 to 23, we ask our kids to either be working or in school, or if you have your high school diploma, you can be going to college. And from there, we can help you with housing. We actually work with housing providers to get our kids into extremely low income apartments, which are more than affordable. Um, we have what's called our Keys Independence Program, that helps our kids get their driver's licenses and it actually pays for the first six months of car insurance for them because um, we recognize that was a real barrier to being successful, right? It's hard to go to school or go to work if you don't have a reliable way to get there. Um, we also have a career and education coach, somebody who helps our kids utilize the tuition waiver because our kids, if you've turned 18 from foster care, if you were adopted in foster care, um, you get to go to school for free, any public Florida university, college, technical school, up until you turn 28 years old, regardless of credits. So we wanna get our kids their high school diploma and we wanna get them into college so that they can go on and have a successful life. Um, and then we also have a mentoring program where we match our kids with different individuals in the community. And above all, we just ask those, those adults to become that supportive connection for our children and really help them um, like be that person who they call when things are difficult. Extremely comprehensive. That's really wonderful. How do people get in touch with um, the agency in order to um, learn more, to, to get engaged? How would they find out more information? Start with our website, embracefamilies.org. You can find everything that you want to know there. There's links to all the different programs we have, all the different uh, people who you can reach out to, email addresses, phone numbers, all of that. So embracefamilies.org. That's one of the things that makes living here in Central Florida so great to know that there are agencies like Embrace Families here. So thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Help